welcome to Real World AIP, the channel dedicated to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol. I'm Certified AIP Coach Stacy, and today I want to talk about surviving the holidays on AIP or any special diet really. So if you're on a Whole30 or a Bulletproof diet or 21 day sugar detox or a freaking pegan diet or... This applies to you too. So, my most important advice that I could possibly give you after all the research I've done and being formally trained as a health coach and in all of that, here's my number one. This is not a countdown. This is the number one most important piece of advice. Somehow, mentally disconnect your emotions from food. Cause really, food is just a substance, a tool. It's something you eat to fuel your body. It's like the gas you put in your car. It's food. It seems from early childhood. We are taught through observation and experience that food is love, food is family, Christmas is cookies, Thanksgiving is turkey. You eat cake with your new husband at your wedding and, and you can't have a birthday without a birthday cake. You eat popcorn at movies. You have mimosas at brunch with your girlfriends. You get a heart-shaped box full of chocolates for Valentine's Day. You get a basket full of chocolate eggs with a runny faux egg yolk center for Easter. <laughs> you have fond memories of baking cookies with your mom or your grandma. We're basically subconsciously programmed to believe that food equals love and family and comfort. And these beliefs that are running through your subconscious mind, you're not even aware that they're guiding you. That's how that works. So you want to delve more into subconscious mind. That's like a whole other topic. And I researched it a lot for myself and man, those, that program's gonna make it really hard for you to stay on your healing diet through the holidays. Unless you can recognize this programming and rewrite the coding. Get inside of your brain's HTML and break that link to food equals, insert positive emotion here, and replace that food with something else. Family is love. Warm, cozy feelings and fun and joyful experiences do not need to have food involved to be joyful, fun, or warm and fuzzy. Let's start with Thanksgiving, since that's the next holiday coming up. I mean, I guess it could still be Turkey Day if you wanted to, because Turkey's AIP compliant, but that's not the point of this. You know what Thanksgiving's about. Thanksgiving is a day of gratitude. It's a day to spend time with people you care about. So bring your own plate with you, along with a bunch of AIP pumpkin pie bowls to share with your family if you want. And from there, just enjoy time spending with your family. You could offer to help make Thanksgiving dinner, or bring some side dishes that are AIP compliant, and you know, depending on how understanding your family is, instruct them on how to make an AIP compliant turkey, which is pretty easy. So you can actually partake of the food, but say you couldn't, say you're going to your husband's family's house and they don't understand, eat on the way and just be like, oh, I just had Thanksgiving at my family's house. I'm not hungry. I'll just, you know, but I brought you some pumpkin pie balls and then have one of those with them. And now you had dessert with them. Just work it. We'll find a way around it somehow. That's what I always do. You can make Thanksgiving dinner at your place because no one would ever notice that the Thanksgiving dinner was not regular Thanksgiving dinner because it's all like pretty close to AIP anyway. You know, you get your turkey, you got your cranberry sauce and some sweet potatoes, butternut squash. This is all super easy to do AIP. So yeah, get the food part covered and then spend the day feeling grateful. Grateful that you have internet access and that you even know what AIP is. That you actually have a concrete means of reversing your autoimmune symptoms instead of just wondering what the heck is wrong with you and why you have all these crazy symptoms and not knowing how to even control it or where they come from. Like, be grateful for that. I wish I had that 20 years ago. Christmas. Christmas has really been bastardized into a day of Santa and red and green artificial food colors, sprinkled cookies, and like giving money, money, gifts, gifts, gifts. If you're spiritual, then you know, you could think about the real meaning behind Christmas and concentrate on that. Even if you're not spiritual, treat it like Thanksgiving. Focus on spending quality time with your family. Buying or making them gifts that'll make them smile. Hopefully raking in some Amazon gift cards so you can buy some Tiger Dot Flower and AIP cookbooks. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I mean, enjoy being with your family, friends, or pets, or... If you must have food be part of your holiday celebrations because it's just too hard to like break that mental connection of food and holidays and all. I mean, that's understandable. And in that case, then there's AIP treats. <laughs> 
Brianna Emmett has a great book called Holiday. It's all AIP compliant holiday food, desserts, side dishes, main dishes. You can also find a bunch of free recipes. Google, Google AIP holiday recipes, Google AIP ginger cookies, AI gingerbread, AIP Christmas cookies. There's loads of recipes out there. Bring a batch with you to your holiday parties. Also, Paleo on the go has some awesome looking holiday food. They'll basically make it for you, all AIP compliant, ship it to you. There you go. So if you don't have the time, then that's an option. And if it's your first time ordering, I have a coupon code for you, 15 bucks off your first order, real world AIP in the coupon code, and I'll put a link in the description below. If I'm going to a holiday party, I usually just eat before I leave the house. Or if it's with people I'm more close to, like my family, then I'll bring a plate and heat it up there and eat with them. But I'm not gonna do that for like people I don't know well. I'll just, you know, <laughs> oh, I just ate, I just come from another party, I just came from dinner you know, circle around it. <laughs> the key is being prepared. You can prepare mentally by making sure you're rested because this is a scientific fact. Your willpower decreases when you're tired or you've made too many decisions. The more decisions you make in a day, the, the more likely you are to make a bad one. So your willpower is stronger early on when you're fresh, when you're rested. So use that to your advantage. If you're going to a party that night and you know there's going to be loads of treats and things and you're one that's tempted by that kind of stuff, then get your rest and make sure you're fresh. You're not frazzled and hungry and coming from work and you've been up since 5 a.m. That, that's not a good equation. Also, read your motivational Pinterest board before you leave. I, I, that stuff works, man. The other day I didn't feel like working out at all. And so I opened up my face, my Pinterest thing and I was like, all right. And then I'm scrolling through my fitness motivation and there's this girl with a fit, tone, healthy body. And it says, this month's workouts are next month's body. And I was like, ah, I gotta work out now. <laughs> so, and the same with the food, you know, just Nothing tastes better than being healthy feels. Also check in with your AIP Facebook support group. You could check in with them at the party. You feeling tempted? I love these Facebook groups. There's just your moral support right there. I mean, every other person at that party could be chowing down on Christmas cookies, cake, and eggnog, but you go on your Facebook group and be like, guys, you know, I need a little moral support here. They will jump in. The, the AIP community is awesome. And plan with them before you even leave. Ask them for any tips on how they're dealing with their own personal struggles during the holidays. And then physically prepare by actually eating, showing up with a full stomach or bringing food with you. And if you're one that feels really left out and deprived, bring treats. AIP treats to me are like a tool. They're useful if they're gonna keep you on AIP for as long as it takes to heal. And if they're going to keep you sane in the process, then I guess there's a place for them. Not everyone can just snap that mental connection between, you know, food and emotion. Some of us have to saw away at it little by little until eventually you look at that stuff and you're like, ugh, what did I ever even see in that junk? It's, it gets easier and easier, but the treats are definitely a useful tool if it's going to make or break you staying on AAP. I know that you're not going to watch this video and be like, hey, she's right, food isn't love. Who cares if I have stuffing on Thanksgiving and then and, and just carry on? Like, that's probably not gonna happen overnight. So in that case, I'm happy to give you AIP compliant versions if that makes it easier for you to stay on your healing path. But I draw the line at some things. I don't make many desserts because I don't want stuff in my house that I don't want in my belly. <laughs> I don't wanna spend my time and money test cooking batch after batch of some cake or some brownie or some cookies because I don't even want to eat that stuff and now I'm making batch after batch trying to perfect it when it's not even something that I care about having around like at least when I make the the pumpkin pie bowls all it really is is like white sweet potato and coconut butter I mean that's a basic breakfast for me that's a any old day that's a good breakfast like it's not like a arrowroot coconut flour cookie with some date sugar like now nah, I'm just like I don't want that in my house so I'd rather focus the majority of my time and money experimenting with like real food meals or whole foods or at least, you know, if it's going to be dessert-ish, it's going to be something basically like white sweet potato plus coconut milk. So then I can have pre-workout that it didn't take a ton of experimenting with time or money and it's not going to load me up with too much sugar. 
There are already plenty of bloggers out there doing an excellent job of providing you with AIP treats. And I applaud them for their creativity and for supplying those tools to help you stay the course of AIP if you really need that. But once again, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna touch the psychology on it. You know, a treat doesn't have to be food. Oysters on the half shell and filet mignon's a treat too. Okay, that's food. But okay, a treat doesn't have to be sweet food. I mean, I'll take some oysters and oysters and filet. Yes, please. Actually, I want a New York strip. What about massages and pedicures? A new purse. A delightfully long nap. A new Kindle book. These are all treats too. A treat doesn't have to be edible. It doesn't have to be sweet. So anyway, there's my holiday rant, and that's why I don't often bring you guys anything dessert-like. Hopefully now that you're aware of this whole phenomenon that's instilled in us from a very young age by our culture about how, you know, Christmas has to be cookies and Thanksgiving has to be turkey and birthday has to be cake, and just at least recognize it because awareness is the first key to kind of cutting that cycle and getting yourself out of the, that and just looking at it for what it is and being like, I can enjoy this holiday with my family and be grateful for all the things I have and still eat delicious food that nourishes me and doesn't make me sick and, and just be grateful and enjoy all the other myriad of wonderful aspects of the holidays outside of the, you know, sweet, sugary junk. <sighs> anyway, speaking of the holidays, this bracelet, my little sister Bobby gave it to me. She sells these for five bucks. She sells jewelry. So speaking of treats, if you want to, you know, get some little cute jewelry pieces as gifts for people for the holidays or treat yourself, five bucks a pop. And she says they're nickel free and um, it's like four dollar flat rate shipping. So, you know, you can get six pieces. It's going to cost thirty dollars and it would still only be four bucks. So good deal. I don't have anything to gain from this. It's not like some affiliate thing or whatever. It's my little sister and it's really nice jewelry. It's cute. So yeah, link below to Bobby's jewelry. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps YouTube realize, wow, this might be useful to people and then it'll move it up in the search results. And if you want to subscribe below, I post new videos every Thursday. I'm working on all kinds of good motivational videos and recipes, lots of recipes. That's all I got for you today. Happy holidays, you guys. I hope to see you soon. And until then, be healthy.